Hey y'all, it's Lindsay with the Fiber Seed and it is Whip Wednesday. It's Thursday. Anyway, <laughs> let's talk about some stuff. I've been dying so much yarn uh, for the Fiber Expo up in Ann Arbor next week in the 20th and 21st. So if you're in the area, you want to see a lot of fun fibers and yarn, that's where I'm going to be. So what else have I been working on that is not dying yarn? Some things. So let me share. I have some things. If you ha are waiting on update for Penelope's pink and purple balloons, she dyed some. It's going to be basically washed and dried and twisted up and all that stuff. And your order should be going out on Monday or Tuesday. So here's what it looks like knitted and crocheted. And if you haven't gotten any of this awesome funness, um, there will be some in the shop when it goes out to the pre-order people, then it'll be there. If you're going to be in Ann Arbor, we're going to have her yarn debuted for the first time at a show. That's so cool. So look for the rainbow soup display. You're going to have Reese and Penelope's uh, colorways there and sock DK Morrison. So there's that. What else? Well, it's a new month and I actually have not only the swatches blocked for sunsets for somebody else. So that's the color. Look how pretty it is y'all. But anyway, this is what it looks like in a Hank. Da -da -da -da. So Hank swatch also didn't realize this, but just serendipity. Yeah. So sunset for somebody else and peach fuzz. These look really good together. I'm just saying somebody out there, y'all, you, you, you that are watching, um, make something out of this because it's so pretty. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's an idea. If anybody needed a color combo, uh, that one just kind of hit me. Uh, anyway, so this is what we got. We're having, we have it in sock DK and worsted right now. And I made more. So, um, what else? Oh yeah, it's whip Wednesday. So those are things I dyed. There were whips and other not. Um, I also, oh, if you want to know how, there's so many things. If you want to know how peach fuzz works up, here's a project. Uh, so I did make my um, Tula sweater by Knit Sisu out of peach fuzz. But I also, since I made it three quarter length, I ended up with an extra ball of yarn. Look at me, side note, not playing yarn chicken. Anyway, because I had extra, I decided to make a uh, beloved bonnet by Tin Can Knits using Sprout DK in the peach fuzz. So here's how it's going. Um, I'm making the newborn size. Not for me. Those eyes were not mine. I know. But anyway, I'm making my head. Anyway, what else have I been working on? A crochet project. So here is what, how, what how? This is how my um, standing ovation, uh, it's a free recipe by Kathy Lashley, is going. It's slip stitches. If you're an exacting person, the like numbers matter to you when you make projects, don't. And I'm saying that in a loving way, you'll, you might be frustrated and I don't want somebody to not enjoy what they're doing. I'm not saying that as a negative to the pattern. I'm saying if you don't mind playing around with not having the exact numbers that a recipe calls for, it's a, you know, but if you like playing with this stuff, it's fun. You're not going to change the amount of stitches once you get going. It's getting them and it's not that hard. So it's fun. It's crochet and look how far I've gotten. It does this. Anyway, I'm, I'm far too easily amused, but you know what? That's what makes life, life fun. So that's how far I've gotten. I'm currently on one ball. I want to see how far I get with this because I might just do one instead of two. You can make it as a scarf, but I don't wear scarves that often, so I might make it into a cowl. So we'll see how far I get. So I'm using Sprout Worsted. The pattern, pattern recipe calls for DK. However, since it's a recipe and it's a concept of how the stitches and all that stuff work out, um, you could use any weight. So I used worsted just to see how it would come up. I'm using neon lights half speckled. So anyway, that's how that's coming along. And then I got a little further on my glide by Dawn Barker using lovebirds. This is not this, co these colors are not on the website yet. I had to take pictures and lots of stuff's going on. So <laughs> they will be at fiber expo and we'll be taking photos and getting them onto the shop after fiber expo. So there are six other colors and these, they're all in the, all the weights. So sock DK worsted. So if you want to get your hands on these, just wait 
it's coming. Um, I'm enjoying it. It's on Sprout Sock and Lovebirds, on Lovebirds and Lovebirds, Lovebirds. Anyway, that's how that's turning out. And then, and then, total hyping without showing or sneaking or anything like that. This Friday's update is special because it's a box. So we're doing a Mother's Day box. If you want to give something to yourself or to your mom or somebody who's been a mom for you in your life. So, or just somebody you want to love on. Um, we have a little box. It's going to be a skein, pink, whatever you want to call it, of Sprout Sock and a special colorway to match the seed packet that's going to be in it. And I did check the seeds for most zones in the United States. They're not invasive. They're actually okay. But they're here if you want to check. Um, put them in a garden instead of just throwing them out randomly. And you'll be in a better position. Anyway, I had to say that. Um, also, I've got a fun scent. Oh, it smells so good. Anyway, I've got fun spring-vibed scented wool wash to go with it. So you get a hank of yarn. That's 510 yards of sprout sock. A uh, tuft woolens sock soap and then a little packet of seeds so anyway this is the mother's day box this will be available this friday at 12 noon eastern time and i don't know what day it is anymore so <laughs> it's gonna be the 12th the 12th is friday and if it's not whatever friday near the 12th is yeah i've got it together Look, I know when the light is out is daytime and nighttime you go to sleep. Anyway, this is going to be Friday. Those are the projects I've been working on. And there's still more yarn to die, so I'm going to go do that. Anyway, until next time, though, happy crafting.